Hi friends, in this video I will explain the difference between CMD and entry point. So let me create one docker file. So in this docker file you can see just only one entry from CentOS. So this is a base image which I am using. Okay, so I have created one um, image using this docker file so this is the image which I created okay next I am going to uh, create a new uh, container with this image and I am going to run this command inside that uh, container ls dow so basically so I am just listing the listing all files under this dev directory okay so let me run this okay you can see the output here so docker run iphone iphone rm this rm option i am using to delete the container after this uh, task okay this is the name of the image then this is a command which i am running inside that container so this is okay right now i haven't used this um, entry point so i run this command without entry point let me display um, files in another directory for example var okay so it's actually it's working so let me show how we can use uh, entry point here so right now we need to specify the name of the binary then the option basically ls then the name of the directory so what i am going to use i am going to use entry point then i will move this uh, location of the binary to that entry point so let me show so i am going to do the same thing with entry points you can see here and iphone iphone entry point is equal to pin ls the location of the ls binary basically this part I move to entry point then name of the image then here you can see the option of the ls command so this one, this part I mode here so when I run this command you will get the same output see you can use uh, instead of dev you can use or So this is the one use of this um, entry point. So whatever you give after this image name, that will pass to pass as an option to this uh, ls uh, command. So we can we can move this part to the Docker file. Let me show how we can move this to the docker file so I am going to open the docker file then then here I am going to add one more line entry point slash bin slash ls let me save this file then I am going to create another image my image 2 using that docker file okay so you can see the second image here my image 2 then let me create a new container uh, with that uh, new image my image 2 when you run this you can see by default it just displayed all the files under slash because when I execute this docker run command it first execute this entry point so that is why we are seeing that output so we so here you can give options for example I can give dev so when you give dev here basically this will pass to the entry point as an option ls space dev so now you can see the 
files under dev or you can do for example wire and if you give some file which uh, some directory which is which does not exist you will get error see no such file or directory and you can see the command I mean the binary here so if you do simply ls here so you will not it will not execute inside the container so what you have to do is you have to specify the binary where you just bin slash bash so right now you can see that it's not uh, executing these things uh, in bash uh, ls so we have seen that so whenever we run this command by default it's displaying all the contents under uh, slash, uh, under the root directory so when you run this command basically it's first execute the entry points that's why that's the reason it's showing this list so it's executing uh, ls command without in the basically in the root directory so if you want to change that uh, default uh, for example default um, option you can use this cmd that is the use of cmd let me open this uh, docker file again so this is an entry point so let me do create one cmd here and wow so here i am saying whenever we execute this uh, entry point use this default argument default wow default variable so basically it will execute bin slash ls space war so let me save this file we need to create a new image So I am going to create uh, image 3 then I am going to run that I am going to create a docker with that uh, new image image 3 you can see by default it has displayed the files under war and I run image 2 when I create a docker with image 2 docker container with image 2 you can see by default is printing the files under Code. so that is the one use of that uh, cmd now i think you understand the use of in report and cmd so if you want to use um, actually we have seen that uh, here we have given cmd equal to war so you can override it if you pass another uh, command here for example dev it will override the cmd you can override the cmd this way okay. okay so please subscribe my channel please like and share the video if you have any doubt please comment so basically here we can see the all the options so here you can, you can see without entry point uh, we can list uh, files under one folder by specifying the ls binary path of the ls binary and the name of the folder so this is this is how we list files without entry point with entry point you can do the same thing like this then here you can see i have moved this part inside the docker file then if you go here you can see we can move both CMD I mean the option and the entry point inside the docker file so these are the options